TaxDOT is moving forward with a highway project that's expected to affect several cities in the valley. CBS Forest Brasilis Strada stopped by a public hearing this evening where dozens of people expressed their opinions and concerns. I'm mad because I don't want to move. I don't want to move. We've been living there for a long time. Donna resident Nicolasa Martinez and her husband have lived in their home for over 60 years and they just found out they're in the line of construction for proposed State Highway 68. Because of my age it will be hard to move and I don't know. We have um, a lot of trees there, pecan trees, we have a lot of memories there and uh, you know, so I don't know what's going to happen. Martinez, along with others, filled Donna North High School Thursday night for the Texas Department of Transportation's public hearing. The one thing that we want to mention is that this is one of the routes that has the least amount of impacts of that sort. But it's something that has to be done. Many intently lined up to review the preferred project's alternative to see if they would be affected or not. Well, we wanted to see how close this would come to Alamo Country Club. We won't have a direct impact, as we can see, but we appreciate being able to get onto an interstate quickly and be able to get somewhere. The 22-mile-long project would create a new north-south highway consisting of two northbound lanes and two southbound frontage roads, with future main lanes and overpasses extending from U.S. 83 to U.S. 281. We are looking at more than 1.3 million people in the Rio Grande Valley today. We're looking at more than a million registered vehicles in the valley today. And that's not including the vehicles that come from Mexico. We need an additional north-south corridor in this area. The state highway would run through the cities of Donna, Alamo, San Juan, Far, Edinburgh, and neighboring communities, affecting more than 100 lots in its path. The new highway aims to alleviate high traffic volumes and provide an alternative north-south evacuation during emergency events. In Donna, with complete valley coverage, Priscilla Estrada, CBS4 Valley, tonight. The first phase of the construction is already funded. Construction is planned to start in 2022 and is estimated to last three years.